Hey y'all, it's your girl C. Millie and I am here for one of my first new videos um, of starting my YouTube channel and that is an initial thoughts and impressions review on the new Juvia's Place Foundation. And I know what some of y'all gonna say, this ain't new, this has been out a couple of weeks. Oh well, because it's new to me. All right, so after I get on my um, eyebrows and my eyeshadow and lashes, I will come back and I will start my mini tutorial, mini talk through, mini um, first reaction on the foundation. Okay guys, so hopefully I'm not crooked on the video because I am working from my ring light and I'm working from the mirror that's behind my ring light. Um, so I am done with my eyebrows, lashes, and eyeshadow. Um, this is just a typical look that I do anytime I'm doing makeup throughout the week or I really don't want to try. Um, so let's talk about the star of the show, which is the new Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. Um, this foundation is in the color 300 Gabon. Um, and um, this is 30 milliliters. <laughs> 30 milliliters, 1.0 fluid ounces. So it's not like your typical foundation, which you get um, around, like my Fenty is 32, I get 1.08. And in my Becca Ultimate Coverage, I get, um, I think I get a little bit more of this one. Nope, this is 1.0 as well. So for 20 bucks, I think this is a great steal. Um, I found mine at my local Ulta but they did not carry the concealers in store. So I can't unfortunately try that out for you guys, but I am gonna try this out. Um, so this is what it looks like. It looks like one of those lotions that my mama keep in her purse from 1992. Um, and yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So let's take the thing off first. <clears throat> And I'm going to apply this, don't judge me, because I need to clean my brushes, but I'm going to apply this with my flat top um, Kabuki brush from Sedona Lace. And I'm just going to first swatch it on my skin to see. When I tried it in the store, it looked like it was my match, but y'all know how that be when you get home. So, I don't know how it's picking up on camera, but... This is thick, honey. This is thick. Jesus. I need a baby wipe. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend in what I have right now, and then I'll come back to apply more to my face. I think that's a pretty good match, y'all. What do you guys think? And look, I'm still like working my way over with what I had on my um, finger. Wow. Wow, guys. Sorry. I'm looking at myself in the big mirror. So I'm just going to take a couple more dots and just place them all over my face. Ooh, no. And I'm a full coverage kind of girl, so I don't know how many layers I would necessarily do of this foundation. I don't think I'm gonna have to do two, only because I'm just going to dinner. But when I go to church tomorrow, I might do two layers. Oh, my hair. We'll fix that later. So, Let's go ahead and blend this in. think this is the foundation without any concealer any powder 
just my primer on and the foundation. Like I said, I can't see what it looks like from my big mirror, so I'm not really sure. My neck, um, from the mirror that I'm sitting in front of right here, it looks like it's a pretty good match. Um, let's see with my chest. I don't know, y'all. I think I found a winner, but we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face, and then I'm going to come back to wrap it all up. Okay, guys, so here is my final look with the foundation on, and y'all, I am so in love. Like, please correct me. Like, we all sisters here. We all brothers and sisters in Christ. So if it's not looking right, if y'all like, mm, Cam, I don't know if that's the right color, please comment down below. But I think I did a dang good job of choosing my color um, just by going into the store. This being the last color in, like, the um, deep is it the deep kingdom um like one of the families i think is like the deep uh, kingdom but when i went to ulta they literally had this shade 230 malawi and a whole bunch of tanzania shades and that was it so i think i lucked out by getting this shade um i definitely want to get a couple of other ones just to try it out to see um but i think i did a good job i think this is um a darn good close um shade to my actual skin tone i love the finish it's supposed to be a velvet matte like i said earlier um it it came together really nicely with my concealer and my powder even though they're not by julia's place um it hasn't oxidized too much um from what i saw so um i think that's a plus but other than that, y'all, I highly, highly recommend you guys checking into it. And because of the array of different shades, I forgot the exact number, but they have so many different colors. I definitely suggest looking into it. Um, I'm definitely going to invest in the concealers as well. And hopefully you guys liked my first little initial impression on this foundation video. If you'd like to see me do more product reviews or impressions, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.